All right, so it's March and it's Women's Month. Hey, booze. Um, I want all women, all my black women, right? For this month, love on each other. Do something amazing for each other. I don't care if you got a good, good girlfriend, a cousin, a sister, an auntie. I don't care if you Uber Eats her a dinner at one point this month. I don't care if you show up and just sit on her couch and let her vent for the month. I don't care what you do for this month. But do something dope and amazing for another woman. I feel like at times as women, we really expect only a man to show up for us as women. When your homegirl been loving on you since day one, your homegirl been showing up for you since day one. It is Women's Month. Love on each other. Put that caddy shit aside. You got to have a heart to heart with somebody. You got to have a car conversation with them. Do that. And for my men, it's Women's Month. I know y'all don't get a month. It happens. Sorry. But it's Women's <laughs> Month. Love on some women in your lives, too. And not just materialistic shit. Like, unless that's what she's into. Learn people's love languages. There's some people who you could buy them a Gucci bag, and it doesn't mean as much as a fucking hug. Or you can buy them some elaborate shit, and it doesn't mean as much as just sitting and watching a show or a movie with me. Like, start to get to learn each other's love languages, not just in relationships, uh, platonic relationships, but in friendships as well. And in or you learn your kids' love languages. Children have love, love languages as well, too. Um, but yes, love on each other for Women's Month. So Women's Month is also my birthday month. So for my birthday, um, for the last couple years, I just support black owned businesses for the whole month of March. Okay. Shout out to my Pisces. <laughs> we the best. Baby, I done bought me a new journal. It's called Having Good Pussy Ain't Enough. It's a plus. It's a game changer. This has nothing to do with your vagina or your personal region down there at all. This book is all about self-elevation self-reflection i am stuck on page four because this this gets deep right for you to really dig deep on who you are as a person and we got to start doing that shit ladies like self-reflection is a big thing because a lot of us feel like we are not we're never wrong we ain't got no problems we ain't got no issues no 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 a lot of us got some shit with us okay and there's nothing wrong with admitting i'm not right i got some shit that i need to change or some shit that i don't like therapy is amazing but this right here by um, is created by B.M. Harden. She's on Facebook. If you look her up, B.M. Harden, H-A-R-D-I-N. Baby, this shit is the truth. And she has been selling them like hot fucking cakes. Um, her tribe is showing up for her. I think this is a dope, dope, dope journal. It really causes you their self-affirmations in here. She really, really hit the, the nail on the head with this one. But if you can get it and support her, She's a young black woman having good pussy ain't enough. It's a plus. I think a lot of you all could benefit from this journal. Um, it's it's a game changer for real, for real, for real. So make sure you guys are supporting black women this month. Support anything. And it doesn't just have to be buying something. Support could just be listen, like listening ear, encouraging, calling somebody, say, yo, you, you dropped in my spirit today, everything good, and really listening to what they have to say and not interrupting them or just giving your own story unless it's a story of where you're you're giving a testimony how you can relate. But happy Women's Month, ladies. Love you.